I, I think the recent move by North Korea and the United States after a couple of days of meetings in Beijing, uh, China, is a very positive step forward. I mean, I think uh, while it's too early to judge uh, what the long, long-term impact has been, uh, we know that we've been away from you know, direct talks with the North Koreans for almost three years now. Uh, the six-party talks ended the last, the last meeting was in December 2008. Uh, it's also three years after the, uh, the last Korean nuclear test. Uh, you know, they, they tested nuclear weapons twice, uh, both, you know, maybe only semi-successful tests, one in 2006 and one in 2009. But there's been loads of concern over the use of plutonium and the use now of enriched uranium. Uh, and the lack of any international inspectors on the North Korean peninsula to inspect what's going on uh, in North Korea. So moving forward, I think engaging the, the United States at this point uh, is probably a very good, very good sign that they may be willing, particularly under the new direction of the new Korean leader, to move forward in a more peaceful way and to sort of re-enter the, the, the world of global politics and, and uh, begin to discuss denuclearizing the whole Korean Peninsula.